It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and we've picked up some new Sidemen Sides. This is the Sidemen YouTube channel's Iceland collaboration. 240 grams of chili cheese nuggets. Ten of them in fact. So I'm looking forward to these to be honest with you. Um, I, I it, It's one of those things. I like to promote and I like to chat about other YouTubers who have done very successfully when it comes to having a digital platform and then turning that digital platform into reality, into an actual product, into actually something which you can feel, you can look at and you can touch. And I think that's great. And, and of course, you can taste. Um, we brewed a beer we, we brewed many beers on the channel we've been looking in, in all honesty we've been looking on, on on this particular channel to do this very thing for a number of years and and, and it's funny because we brewed a beer called barry island ipa in 2011 i was about 31 years old it was about 13 or 14 years ago and it went into tesco's nationwide and back then, as a 30-year-old, I didn't quite realise what I accomplished at the time. And I just want to congratulate the Sidemen for doing the same thing. And, 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 and of course, these guys are marketeers now. They, they, they know what they're doing. They're kind of like, like business people, if you like. And they probably have a be much better understanding of what they're doing and getting a product into Iceland than I ever did getting a beer into Tesco called Barry Island IPA. So, these go in the air fryer for eight minutes. Here is a look at them. They look fantastic. They were four pounds. A lot of the products, a lot of these kind of sides in Iceland. So this is an Iceland product. Um, they're between four and five pounds, which it's 2024. Nothing costs a pound anymore. Nothing costs two quid anymore, does it? It all costs a little bit more. So, without further ado, let's get this air fryer on for eight minutes. Let's come back and eat some nuggets. Some chili nuggets with cheese on. Right, these chili cheese nuggets are about to pop. So, whilst they're doing their last couple of seconds in the air fryer, let's have a look at the ingredients. Uh, mozzarella cheese, 36%. Most of that is milk, wheat flour, uh, more wheat flour. Let's have a look at some of the important stuff. So, green chili, 7%, red chili, 7%, full fat, soft cheese, 7%. And that's enough of a filler, isn't it? Because we're ready to go. <laughs> some of you like the ingredients, some of you like to know what you're eating. They smell fantastic. They really do. Oh. Right. We got some mozzarella stuck in the bottom of the air fryer. That's okay though. That's called sacrifice. Cheese sacrifice. this so four pound for ten of these low of course they as a food now now this is like the golden rule of food reviewing food reviewers always burn their fingers they always burn their mouths they always 
Oh, it's hot, it's hot. We always do that. So. Shall we attempt to break one open? Oh, that is hot. That is like molten lava. So what they've tried to do here is get a lot of that to stick together so that, of course, it's not leaking into the bottom of the air fryer. And of course, that's, that's, that's like a conundrum, isn't it? It's like the, the biggest thing to try and get over here. Hmm. Is not to leak it into the air fryer. Oh, oh. These are good. Oh, there's some lovely stinging chili cheese flavor coming through. It's a little tingly on the back of the throat. Mmm. Oh. It's proper mozzarella. Oh. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh. Mmm. Proper mozzarella is supposed to have that kind of gummy feel to it, that almost like you're chewing gum, edible gum, and that's what it has. It has that resistance, it has that kind of like, when you're chewing it, it wants to flex back in your mouth. It's not like powdered cheese that just wants to, uh, you know, fall over and just melt in your mouth this is proper mozzarella here the coating is nice and crispy i haven't lost too much to the air fryer the chili is coming through with this just wonderful it's not overly done it's not going to dominate the whole flavor of the of this chili cheese bite it's enough to be able to call it a chili cheese bite and appreciate the chili kind of flavor, the chili kick that's in these nuggets. But it's not enough to kind of like overpower it. They're great, they're really good. Oh. There's your green chili, there's your red chili. There's your, your mozzarella there. There it is, look at that mozzarella. God, it goes on forever, doesn't it? Doesn't want to snap. Oh. Fantastic. So. I did rip the bag. What struck me with the initial, well, when I first seen these, I seen these online. What struck me initially was how good the branding was, how on point the branding was. And I think when you see all of this, because I, I was in Iceland just the other day. When you see it all in the freezer, the chicken tenders and, and everything else that's going on in that freezer, you like you want to pick it all up. It the branding is good enough that you want to just go. I want some of that, and I want some of that, and I want some of that in the big chest freezer. I, I, I'm really pleased I picked these up. Yes, they were four pounds, and I was thinking to myself, "Oh, that's a little bit expensive," but trying them, 
taking a deep dive into them. Mm. For 10 of these, it's money well spent. It's money well spent. Lovely, crispy, coated batter. Enough chili cheese, enough chili, enough mozzarella to be able to kind of offer a nice, fulfilling, cheesy snack. Mm. They're just good. They're so good. The mozzarella is so flavoursome. Really good stuff. I've never had... I've never had sides like this that I've enjoyed as much as I'm enjoying. And I've been to a few restaurants in my time. And especially for the money I've spent. If you went to a, a street food vendor... And you bought these chili cheese bites. You, you'd be talking about eight pound. The fact that you can pick these up in Iceland, chuck them in your air fryer for four pound. I, I actually think that's, it's really good value for money. Really good value for money. It's a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.